Hello everyone, welcome to another painting, Paint with Rick. Today we're going to, I got a bunch of oil paint left on my uh, palette, as you can see. So I'm going to do a quick 12 by 12. Anybody can do this. Uh, just go get your oil paint, get some chip brushes. And make sure you get some fan brushes, the fan brushes we use to... Uh, put our trees in so they're very important to this technique and also you need uh, your linseed oil I figure I gotta explain it every time I do a video because I know you guys don't go back and watch my other ones I just dip my brushes in linseed oil I just keep it in a bowl and uh, get the brush wet and then I'm going to have a blue sky here. So then I come up here on my palette and just get a little bit of blue on there. And let's get started. I'm going to do a blue sky up here today. The linseed oil is what helps it uh, move on the canvas. So anybody can do this technique, okay? I'm trying to... Uh, show the technique I use because I, I sell a lot of paintings I've sold over a thousand of them so <laughs> trust me though if you learn this technique you'll be able to sell some paintings you know with a little practice I think you can do it right now I'm gonna lay out uh, kind of what we're gonna do so you get an idea I'm gonna have some distant hill rolling hills coming down this way with the low foreground here and then I'm going to have some uh, distant trees coming up this way these will be trees that'll be a hill and then I'm trying to snake some water in here uh, and then I'll have some ground here with a few trees coming over these hills here and this will be maybe grass in here so that's what I'm doing so let's finish the sky first I'm gonna put a little Payne's gray up in here because I like to have a, a dark sky in a, a little bit of the sky it makes the clouds when I blend the clouds in it that looks cool when there's some dark color behind the white clouds Let's put a little bit of lighter blue up here. We'll get some different values going on with our blue. <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do is, I'm using the same brush, I'm gonna grab some titanium white, just dip into my linseed oil and get some white on it. I'm gonna pick up some of this blue here at the bottom and bring it down to our horizon, okay? Oil painting's fun. You can just slap the paint up there. It's going to look good, okay? You don't have to you don't have to be up here doing this, okay? Yeah. This technique we want we're putting down the base colors what we're doing first. So just slap it up there. I want to put a little color behind our mountains here. So I'm just going to fill all this in with white i know there's going to be trees here but we'll have some color underneath it'll look cool when it blends together now my sky what i'm going to do is kind of wipe a little bit up in here not too much and then i'm going to blend it down get a blending brush and blend your sky in now this helps it, the, when we put the clouds up there, this will really help the clouds take shape if you blend your sky in first like this. Okay, there's our sky. It looks cool. We got some different blue going on up there, some gray. Now with the, the clouds, I'm going to do my clouds a little different today. You've probably seen uh, how I do my clouds, but today I'm going to do it different. I'm going to take some white and believe it or not, I'm just going to I'm just going to push in 
basic shapes up in here, basic cloud shapes. Not even going to think about it, just throwing a color up here. Okay. Just throwing color in here. Anywhere I think there should be clouds. Titanium white. That's it. Now I'm going to get my blender brush. I'm going to designate this one as a blender brush. A chip brush, inch and a half. It's such a small painting. So basically now I'm just going to lightly blend horizontally first and occasionally wipe your brush off so you don't get white uh, into areas you don't want it. Go across your clouds uh, horizontally first like this just to knock them down okay very lightly. Now uh, wipe your brush. Now let's come in here and start blending each cloud individually. You could go all different directions. Just blend that cloud in down, down into the blue underneath this one. Just blend them lightly. You don't have to go in different directions. If you want to just go horizontal, you can. But this will make the clouds look very soft in the sky. And it'll help create some different shapes if you go like in crisscross motions like this just like that wipe your brush your blender brush very good that's good that's a nice easy way to make clouds it's a little different than how I usually make them now if if you see an area that you want more blue, just tap your brush uh, into some blue and let's brighten up some of the sky up in here now with some blue. If it got too dull for you, put some blue color up in there. Get your blender brush. Let's blend that in. There's a, a lot of different ways to make clouds. So what I just did here, I wanted to add some more blue into the sky. So I just kind of added it in between the clouds there. If you want your clouds to really stick out now, uh, we could put some floaters on top of what we have now. Just do this. Uh, get a knife. Put a little... Uh, Put a little white on your uh, knife. Let me get a nice roll on there. Titanium white. And let's put some uh, floaters, I call them, up in here. Just like this. Okay. I'm kind of showing you two ways to make clouds here. Now, with this, just barely... Uh, don't knock these down all the way. Uh, leave some of the value uh, bright, okay? That'll look like uh, clouds that are closer to us floating on the sky behind us, okay? Just like that. That looks good enough. Let's go on to our uh, hill here. I'm going to use... Uh, The same color I used in the sky, blue, but I'm going to put a little gray in it, like a grayish blue. Just going to use a, a, a fan brush to lay it in, so you don't even have to dip into your linseed oil because you already got paint down here, so let's, let's make some rolling hills back here. This is uh, blue mixed with a little gray. And let's just fill this in with that color. Okay. Let's 
just like that. I'll make them rolling hills back there. Now with your blender brush, what I do with the with your blender brush, just lightly blend your uh, hills there. So we want the, them to look far away in the distance. So just blend them down a little bit. We're going to have trees coming across the top too. Let's do our trees over here now. Get a fan brush, uh, a number four. Number four fan brush. I use uh, sap green and black mixture. I'll mix uh, sap green and some black, three quarters sap green and a quarter black to make the, the trees dark. Right about halfway, push in the bottom of your trees here just to get your layout. Come to the side here. Now I want this to come up here, so I'm going to do the uh, top part of the trees kind of coming up. Maybe a little higher than the hills here, okay? And then these trees are going to go get smaller into the distance there, okay? Now load your brush up again, and what you're going to do is turn it uh, vertical and come up here and push at the top so it looks like uh, tops of trees, okay? And then fill this all in. Keep your uh, brush horizontal here, or vertical. Fill this all in. Just like that. Don't worry about this getting down here, because we're going to... And over here, just pull this up with your fan brush to make it look like tops of trees back there, okay? There you go. So we got some cool trees looking like they're going off into the distance there. Uh, let's run some cool color here. Let's uh, grab some, wipe your, we'll use the fan brush, wipe your fan brush off. I want to add, we got blue, gray, green. Let's add uh, some brown right there. A very light brown. Uh, a bright brown. I got some brown. I put a little red in it because I want this to pop back here. Let's just run some brown underneath our uh, foothills back there. And then let's actually bring a little bit of that brown under the trees to about halfway there. Bring that brown down about to there. Now with the same brush, just wipe it off. Let's grab some uh, yellow ochre. Just dip your brush into linseed oil, grab some yellow ochre here. Fill in underneath that brown. We're just laying down our base color. Lightly blend those two colors together with the fan brush. This, uh, this is earth tones, so let's put our, I guess we might not have, maybe we could put some water down here. I wanted to have water in the scene. All right, well, maybe we'll just put water down right in here somewhere, or maybe coming from here to there, so let's grab some of the blue with the same brush you used in the sky. Let's just lay some blue right down in here. And we'll have a little hint of a, a river down in here. Just make it blue. And in this area, let's uh, grab uh, your uh, Sap green, mix a little yellow with it. Sap green and a little bit of yellow to make a light green. 
down here, okay? For this part here that we need to fill in. It'll look like some grass, okay? Just fill it in. Earth tones. Very good. Now with your fan brush, wipe it off. And come in here and pull some of the color out under your trees, okay? Into your color. It'll make it look really cool. It'll look like a shadow down here, okay? Just pull that color out into the middle. Back here, less and less. And then back here, just pull it straight across. Okay. Creating a uh, shadow right here. See how that works? All right, with your blender brush, with your blender brush that you used for the clouds and everything, I've got a bristle in there. Okay, let's wipe your blender brush off. Come over here and lightly blend all this in now. Even your water, just blend that area in. This looks cool back here. It looks like uh, a shadow back there. With your uh, fan brush, Get your small fan brush, and we want to lighten up this brown back here. So just put a little bit of white. Tap your fan brush into some titanium white, and right underneath the mountain, just run some titanium white. Just in the very distance there, and then... Try and blend that in, okay? It'll make it look further back, okay? <coughs> now with your uh, small fan brush, we're going to put a little land right here. This is uh, the sap green and black right above your water. Oh, it's push in a little bit of bushes here just push it in just like that wipe your brush off and pull a little bit of that color to the right just like that and we're going to run a, a few trees uh, off these bushes now with the same fan brush. Load your brush up with uh, the sap green and black mixture. Let's put a tree over these mountains here. Right down into these bushes. This kind of tree I'm going to tap in the middle. I'm going to push it in right in the middle with the corner of my brush. Stay on my line, my trunk, and push right in the middle. And as I come down, I'm going to get wider and wider. Just like that. It's a cool looking tree. Let's put another one next to it. Uh, we'll put a smaller one right here. I kind of like the way it looks back there, so we don't want to cover up all our work we did. So let's make these really skinny, these trees, okay? This is an easy way to make uh, trees. We'll leave this side open so we can see that mountain, okay? With your, uh, with a knife... You put points on the tree okay <clears throat> that's all I wanted to 
I want to do with two trees there. I want this one to be simple. It's already 20 minutes. So now with your fan brush, I'm going to highlight those trees by uh, with the titanium white. Since our sun's coming from the right, we'll uh, take the corner of your brush and just hit the right side of these uh, branches just to highlight the tree. Okay all the way down the right side okay i'll highlight the top of these bushes here just where the sun's hitting them okay that's it that's all i want to do there on my water we have water here so i want to cut uh, a white water line across there so with my knife I'll show you how to do that. Get a little roll of white on your knife and right at your water line, we want to cut in what looks like flowing water. Just like that. You don't have to try too hard. Just want make it look natural. Okay. Just like that. People know that that's water down there. These trees here, we got to finish them up. So, with your uh, fan brush, get a little bit of that sap green and black. And over here, we're going to put a few indications of uh, treetops, okay? I'm not going to do them all for the video, but you can do this probably pretty much down to here and you'll be all right. Just put in uh, tree tops like that. Fill it in. That's all I'm going to do for the video. And uh, what we want to do now is uh, put some highlight. Well, we don't have to highlight this because this is in the shadow. So we're going to leave uh, these trees dark, okay? Because the sun's on the other side and it's casting a shadow down here. So it would be a good idea if you finished all your treetops coming down. It'll look cool, okay? That's about all I'm going to do on this one. You could you could do a little more, but that's all I'm going to do. You can add in more, like, uh, grassy things down here if you want, like that. Just push it in and then maybe pull underneath a little bit just to create some more bushes down there if you want. I kind of like it, so... For 12 by 12, this is something uh, you can hang up, like in a hallway or something. I'm going to put a few birds in here because it'll look cool. Put a few birds flying. I haven't done any birds for a while because I didn't have a liner brush, so I'm a little out of touch. <laughs> Fill the sky up with some birds. We'll call that one good. I kind of like it. I hope you like that one. A little 12 by 12. Give you a front shot of it if I can. There you go, guys. Give that one a try, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.